guys, Botman7 here. Today is like one of the most weirdest days to be recording a video because I kid you not, there is a tornado warning for my town. Here's a picture of it. I don't know if you can see that. No, you probably can't. But there's a tornado warning for it for my town. And uh, yeah, I'm recording a video. And this video is requested by my friend Steven, you may know him, and here's the background story. So a long while back, about a year ago, I started making this mod for him on trains, and uh, I had worked really hard on it, I had gotten so far, and then it starts with the dot, ends with an M, completely wiped out the entire thing, and um... I had to start all over, so I started again this year, and I just recently started, actually, a few weeks ago, but I've only gotten the tracks down, well, I've gotten some of the train, I've gotten the base and the wheels of the train, basically it's just a rectangle with four wheels on it at the moment, but, I mean, that's gonna need improvement, and it will get improvement, uh, so will this, because right now I'm about to show you the tracks, because the tracks are the only thing that actually, like, are working so to say um so the tracks are the only thing that really i have i could have chosen a better texture for the tracks but i'm just th that can all be improved in the future right now i'm just worried about the whole you know mod part of it and then i'll do all the really tiny details later uh the track is three blocks wide and another thing that i need to make improvements on is the fact that this only gets spawned in a certain direction, not the way you're facing, which I want it to be. Um, and right now it only spawns in, I don't know what direction it is now, because I have my render distance so low. Anyway, um, my, but like, one of them goes this way, there's another spawn egg that I'm working on right now that goes like in the other way. And in the end product, those two are going to be combined. And you guys are probably wanting me to stop talking now, but um... Uh, so, here's just an example, I'm going to place this down, and, uh, um, uh, that's not supposed to happen. Um, I am, oh, I am, alright, so, I know what happened. Um, I was in the wrong version, I was in my, uh, like, the version where I create the mod, and, like, keep testing it off of Eclipse, and I'm not in, like, the final product one, so I had to relaunch it. So, box, uh, the middle the si and the sides, um, and uh, those are all going to be pieced together in the final product. I just have not figured out how yet, because it, it's actually quite difficult to make a block bigger than it's supposed to be in the actual game. So, now that I have my whereabouts, I can actually tell from all that junk that the track's gonna spawn this way, so I can actually spawn it now. There we go. And, um, so, this is where, this is probably gonna be removed, but just for editing purposes, this is the block that you're supposed to spawn the train on, and as you keep spawning them, that won't appear. That's only where the first one is. So, if I start another one over here, you'll see that that appears. Another weird thing that I've figured out, and I have no idea why this is, and I hope Steven or one of you guys could point this out. Why, if I spawn track on top of track that's already spawned, shouldn't it just get rid of the old one? Because it blows everything up into a billion pieces. Like, it actually separates the block. Or, well, they are separate, but, like, I'm afraid that it might do that in the final version. See, like, it just explodes it, and now you're stuck with all these random pieces. Um, except for these. I don't know why that is. That doesn't make sense to me right now. But, um, yeah. Right now, it does have the ability to... So, actually, the code for this has, like, s just... It's around the same code. I did take some of the coding parts from the actual track code and 
you know. So it actually does let minecarts go on it. If we had gigantic minecarts, that would be awesome. But that's not exactly how it works. So yeah, so it can actually ride a minecart on it. But when the train goes on, the train's gonna be three blocks wide, so it's gonna ride on this. Another thing that I'm planning on doing, which is probably the next thing I'm gonna do with it, is I'm gonna make it so these actually come up off of the ground. Um, unlike, uh, tracks in the game, because, um, they originally were going to stay flat, but then I had the, um, I know Steven probably wouldn't like that, so, um, I am probably going to make them, like, actually 3D, instead of just being a flat object, so that's probably going to be the next update I do, um, Along with other updates with the train, too, but, yeah, this is, uh, probably, um, the most complicated mod I've ever done. Normally I just, like, add blocks and stuff. Never this crazy. Um, oh boy, it's getting dark. It's so dark outside right now because of the warning and stuff, or the clouds and all that, so, like, there's no light in this room. I probably should turn a light on, but I don't feel like it. So I'm just going to... I'm literally just using light off of my computer for this one, so... It's, like, pitch black outside right now, and it's 4.42 in the afternoon, so... It's very concerning, and you can probably hear the rain, too. I have my window open. But, um... I should probably close that. But, anyway, um... On topic. Yeah, so this is what has become so far of the train mod. Um, you guys can com comment on it, say what you think, if I should add anything. Of course, it's got to go through Steven first. Check out his channel in the description. Um, yeah, Batman 7's out. Peace.